Alright team, we are back with Brandon Voles, corrective exercise specialist, my personal corrective exercise specialist. And today Brandon is going to be showing you, what do you even call this that I have? This is a QL dysfunction, okay? And I know, don't let that scare you. Okay? It's when you got one hip, that's, your pelvis is shifted so your hips look like this. I'm going to speak in English. There you go. You speak corrective exercise. <laughs> it's when one hip is like this and you, someone tells you like you've got one leg longer than another, that's not what's happening. Go ahead. Or if you hip hike when you walk, you definitely have one. If you kind of do this, you have that little bit of a waddle. That's your QL, being overactive because you're too weak or underactive in other areas. So we're gonna address a, an overactive QL today with Jimmy. Okay. And maybe, by the way, you don't know how this manifests, but it caused tremendous IT band pain on one side of my leg. So your iliotibial band runs from the hip down through the knee mm -hmm. and if this side is overcompensating it was literally pulling my how do you describe that to them pulling your knee out of whack out of alignment there are always consequences there are predictable consequences for dysfunction compensation exactly so when one muscle is tight that causes compensation throughout the rest of the body so that's why we never look uh, too much locally we want to look globally because if you have tightness here in the hip, it's going to affect the knee. It has to at some point. So. so for me, right, it's this side, this is shifted up. Exactly. And if I, when I sit down, which you wouldn't be able to see right now with my legs extended, it used to literally look where I had like one ankle that was farther behind the other. So this ankle on this side was extended farther out and this one was behind it. And it would cause all kinds of problems for me, back pain, knee pain. And if you remember one of our earlier videos, Jillian had a squat where she shifted on her right side. It's not a coincidence that her right side QL is also tight, okay? Okay, so B, show them uh, the things, the four key things they can do that you do with me. So we start with... Awareness is number one, so you have to do your assessment, okay? So for you guys um, at home, what I want you to do is set your camera up about uh, waist high and film yourself on backwards so you'll be backwards to the camera hopefully you can hear me okay and what you're going to do is you're going to look at your butt right the low part of your butt which is where your pelvis is and you're going to see as you go down does it tilt or do you drop straight down like an elevator shaft okay so okay. jillian's going to show us okay yeah so this is my tight side guys so, so i'm going down nice and slow and now mind you brandon has fixed a lot of this on me so I used to be more where I'm not hip shifting, but there you go. But this is going to look like that way mm -hmm. more. So you can see how this side is lower than this side. Okay. And you go, go ahead and come up. Now, if you see that you have a QL tightness, but don't worry, we can fix it. You can fix it. I can't, I just give you information. It's your body. You fix your own stuff. Okay. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to prep that nasty bully muscle of your right Q, her right QL. We're gonna do a little rolling, okay? And you can use a foam roller too, guys. You should Mine's packed, because as I've mentioned, we're moving. <laughs> exactly. Okay. So we're gonna sit on the floor. Oh boy, not looking forward to this. She's gonna put her <laughs> right leg just like this over her left leg. Okay. And then start right in the low back. There you go. There you go. Oh god, baby. Oh. Good, 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 good. And oh, now, god. now her job is to explore around that QL areas from the low part of your rib cage to the top part of your pelvis. So think about this little section right here. If that was a wet ball of paint, her entire low back on her right side would be covered by the time she's done. Once you find a tight spot, you wanna breathe through it, you wanna stay on it for about 15 real world seconds. I know people's seconds start to go, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 10, 11, 12. When they do this, really just slow it down. This is, you're letting the ball do its work. You need to just breathe, take yourself somewhere nice, be on a deserted island somewhere. Be let, a deserted let, island somewhere. Let the ball, let the ball. Yeah, I want to leave, she's easy. She's like, oh God, it's gonna work on my, my bullet. You got it. That's right. Yeah. And then a really good way is to get in. So pull the left hip up a little bit. Left the side up. Oh. And there you go. So we're gonna kind of come forward a little bit. There you go. So now we're kind of getting an angle into that QL. Son of a gun. There you go. <laughs> so that's what you want. And then breathe through. Breathe through. Let the area work. Okay. Okay. Good. <laughs> So, okay, you know, you think, by the way, that being fit, you'd be like, I can't believe Jill has these problems. All the more reason is that when we're super athletic and we can create these imbalances and then we repeat them, 
by exercising all the time and we ingrain them. So all you super athletes, this applies to you in particular as well. Good Lord. Everybody, goodness. everybody, everybody has things that they can yeah. work on and improve. And that's what corrective exercise is all about. It's about, not about being perfect. It's about improving your movement quality. You want sustainable movement. So you want to go back to the seven fundamental movements and see, are you doing them correctly? What's going on with my pelvis? Because you can prevent injuries. You can see dysfunctions before they actually occur into pain or, or something that more significant than pain where you might need to go get surgery or something like that. You can see these things evolve, okay? So that's my stretch. Okay, now we're gonna do the QL stretch. So I'm gonna be a, a doorway since I'm not very good for a whole lot of stuff. <laughs> At least I can be a doorway. We need a doorway. We don't have a doorway. So no doorway. Well, we do, but we couldn't shoot it. So Brandon is our doorway. Yes, I'll be the doorway. So okay. Jillian's tight side is her right side. Okay, so she's gonna take her right leg behind her left leg, she's gonna get a nice wide stance. I think our feet are getting cut off here, so ah. back up a little bit. Okay. So she's gonna stand with the right leg, take the left leg, cross it over. She's gonna drive her hip away from her. She's gonna take her hand over her head, and I'm gonna be her doorway over here, like this. So you guys at home, you have a doorway that you can latch onto. I feel that pretty strong, yeah. And what you can do is you can move your hip around a little bit, and then the other thing you can do is squeeze your left QL. The opposing muscle to the right QL is the left QL. So if the left QL is on, the right one has to let go through something called reciprocal inhibition. If Jillian wants to translate that for you guys, go ahead. <laughs> it, it, don't worry about it. That, just, just trust him. This is where you just tell them and then they, they trust that you Okay, you know. so she's stretching one side and she's gonna squeeze this side and she's gonna move her hip kind of around and she's gonna feel where that tightness is for her. There you go. Yeah. Okay, good. Now you're going to want to hold that. It actually feels better right now. Now that I... That's the other thing. You're going to notice it's going to start to feel better as you're doing it, as it's opening up. Okay. Oh, okay, all right. We're going to... We'll speed this up. Hey! Right. Little dance here. Little dance here. Little dance here. So you will feel a stretch all the way down yeah. here, but I really want you guys to drive that hip Ooh. away and squeeze with the opposite QL, and you'll feel a really good stretch. And how long be? 15 to 30 seconds at least on this. Okay, I really want you to take your time and explore where that is so you can feel a good release in there after you've done the rolling. Always roll first, prep the muscle, and then we're going to elongate the tight muscle. Okay? 15 to 30 seconds once, or you want 15 to 30 seconds several times? Yeah, three times. Right, yeah. exactly. Uh, sorry, like, sorry, sorry. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Not one time. Per time, of which there are three times. There you go. Sorry. Sorry. Exactly. Got it. Okay. So now what we have to do, we know when she squats that her right QL is overactive. Yeah. That means we know that the left QL is underactive. So now we have to figure out a way to start engaging that muscle to get it to work with the right QL. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do, we're just going to do a suitcase carry. Now here's a little encounter counterintuitive with this exercise. Okay. She's going to hold this weight in her right hand on the bad side because the tight side. The weight, exactly. Sorry, I shouldn't say the tight side. Weak yeah. side, overactive side. Overactive, underactive. I do not, I don't like to use the words weak and strong sometimes, but I do. I apologize for that. She has overactive, underactive. Now, this weight <laughs> wants to pull Are we not allowed to say weak and strong anymore in today's world? Well, I don't want to put it like that because it uh, it's got a little anyway. So this weight wants to pull her down. So what is key? If she doesn't allow that weight to pull her down and she stays upright and she has a T across here, Spine and shoulders are in line, okay? It's her left QL, it's this side that's holding her and preventing her from dropping, right? So she's gonna have abs tight, she's gonna keep her glutes tight, and she's just gonna walk. I'll back up so you can see. Straight, you yep. But this is the suitcase carry that you see at the gym, um, and make sure you don't do exactly what Brandon said, because I see people do it and they walk like, I'm like, yeah. no, you missed the so point. Only use yeah. a weight that you can control straight. and you can maintain good posture across here. Okay, keep your spinal integrity and put your focus, your mind, on the left QL. That's back the you don't need to walk backwards. I'm just backing up okay. so you guys can see it. Okay. So remember, yeah, I see the people at the gym and it's like they're totally doing the, they're allowing it to do exactly what it shouldn't be doing. Exactly. So, so you squeeze the left QL, you keep your glutes nice and tight when you walk. And be how many straight. steps, how much weight, how many sets. Keep the weight to something that's challenging for you, but that is not so heavy that you start to make a compensation through your right. spine, okay? Um, for repetitions, I like to do about uh, 25 yards. That would be, say, maybe 30 steps or so, 
and then take a little bit of a break and then come back do that three times thank okay? you sir okay. with your awareness really on that left QL. well okay it's all about awareness it's not just about moving okay it's not going from point a to point b it's about being focused in what am i squeezing what am i engaging what's the purpose of the exercise so for this it's left QL. okay the next one we're going to do is uh, we do the windmill right? Oh, damn it, the way it came back. It did. Okay. <laughs> this, this is a little 10 pounder, and it's going to feel very heavy. We do the hard one first, or do you do the one? Let's do the hard one first, but we're going to give you an easy one. Okay, yeah, we're going to modify. Because this does require some body awareness. This one's a little bit harder. Even I got to really, really think about This is it. a little tricky. And by the way, you don't need weight for this either. We don't have to use this. Do you want to do weight or no weight? I'll do weight. Okay. But you don't need weight. Don't need it if you're just starting out and you need to just gain the awareness, okay? Okay. So what she's gonna do, her tight side is her right side, okay? Over after side is the right side. She's gonna stand with her feet shoulder width apart. She's just gonna turn just like this, both feet, just like a little dance move. She's just gonna go here to the left side. To the so left her, side. Left side. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I lied, I lied, I lied. Sorry, 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 sorry. Who's the, to the, who's the expert? I was like, that's not how we do it. I was like, have we been doing it wrong? Cut. The cut. last three months. Sorry. What do you mean the left side? Okay. Shoulder with the part. I know. It's a brain fart. I'm sorry. I dehydrated for this shit. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Feet shoulder with the part. Yeah. She's going to turn to the to bad the side. side. Yeah, turn to the, the turn to the tight side. side. Okay. She's going to shift here. Got it. A little knee bend. Back leg's going to stay straight. She's going to pop her hip up. We're not going to go back. She's going to pop her hip up. She's gonna slide her hand down the leg, and the weight is gonna stay straight up over her head as if she had a full glass of water or something that she does not want to spill. Now she, yeah, you're doing a good job. You're doing a good job. Really good job. So her left QL is working to slow her down. Now it's squeezing and shortening to pull her back up. So this is a really effective way to isolate one QL over the other. And be how many sets, how many reps. Three, this is pretty difficult, guys. I would say maybe you can do seven to ten reps on, on this. And be shown for like three sets. How far down they should go. You need to go down as low as you can maintain this arc that Julian's right. doing a really good. Go ahead and show if you just let that round. If you just get lazy. Do you see how this rounds out and now she's just rounding her spine? That's not what you want. You want to engage this perfect. That's very good. That's very good. That's control. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you surprised? It's just really, really good. I like what, look, I appreciate good work. I don't care if I've seen the same I'm artist like, 500 times. I'm not but it's I am Julian Michaels. It's good work. It's good work. For God's sake. Okay, let's show, I... let's show them a little easier version. If that's a little too tough, and I, I know it can be, we're going to show a little easier version. So we're going to go it can see here. Wait, you think for side. the easier version? Let's do no weight. Okay. We can show weight and no weight. Got so it. It's gonna be your, it's gonna so be your. we'll say this is absolute beginner, right, version. And then you add weight to this would be more beginner intermediate. And then what I just did is more intermediate to advanced. Yes, that is correct. That's a, that's a good way of looking at it there. So um, for her left side, we're going to go on the knee, OK? How do you not have a little tap? How's it? I, I'm know. just dealing with it. OK, so her right, her right knee is going to be down. Well, okay. Look at your other leg. That's all screwed. Can you guess? So what did you do there? Nothing. nothing. That's ugly. Nothing That's not as pretty as you usually are. And you're all smooth, and then you have that scar there. You fell on the motorcycle? No, 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 no. Oh. Okay. <laughs> this is bold. Nothing's wrong. Everything's okay. good. Nothing to see here. Okay. Hand up over your head. Yeah. I'm gonna go down. Okay, and we're gonna try to keep that left QL engaged here. And don't let that knee collapse, right? Because Knee over midfoot, okay? Right. Try not to do this, have the awareness here. Go down, and then you're just gonna go straight back up here like this, okay? With your awareness on that left QL here. As you go so down. slide down, and is your booty shifting back? A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. Got it, okay. Good. So yeah, it shifts out just a little back a tiny bit, and you're sliding and that. And then you're gonna squeeze and control. And press. Absolutely, perfect, perfect. Got it. Do okay. It and you, oh, show me the chair one from that work. Oh, I got a cool, uh, a killer one. If you, if you guys have this, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's grab, let's grab this. Okay, one more, one more, guys. This one's great because you can do it anywhere. You don't even need to take the time. You can do it while you're doing your emails. Easy, 
Easy, easy, easy for this one. Can I see? Okay. Yeah. There you go. Perfect. Okay. You want to sit square, okay? Feet short width apart, knees over second and third toe. And all I'm going to do is so my right QO is really tight, so I'm going to show it on the left side. All you're going to do here, let me sit like this so you can see it. Can you guys see that? I'm pulling my left pocket straight up. But what I'm not doing, so I'm going to hold this for five or ten seconds. I'm really pulling this left side up. And then I'll let it go back down to neutral. And then I'll squeeze it's it. It's just that one side is kind of shifting. Just the one side is coming straight up. Just so you know how to activate the left QL and strengthen it, okay? So you can do this on an exercise ball too. You'll feel a lot more motion in that. You're just going to go left and right, up and down like this. So hold to the left, squeeze, five, ten seconds, and then slow let it down, okay? How many sets? Three to ten. Three, three sets for ten reps. This, this one's easy. You can do 10 reps, you can do 15. If you feel like it, it's, all, it's a lot about that hold. So hold for five seconds, okay? Hold, 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 hold. And then slow release it, okay? You'll really gain awareness in how to turn that muscle on. So when you're doing your squats and you have that QL in balance, you go down and you think, oh, how do I turn that left QL on and maintain the stability in the pelvis as you descend in the squat, okay? Where do they go for more? You can go to... Brandon Bowles, X. Oh, you didn't do this this time. X. Sometimes you do that whole superhero thing. BrandonBowlesX.com or my Insta at BrandonBowlesX. X for exercise, right? Yes. Yeah. X, X exercise. Yeah. X, X. V O L Z. Yeah, no T. Everybody puts a T. Why put a T? Don't hear a T. Lazy. <laughs> okay, team. Don't forget, I created this channel just for you guys. So click like, subscribe, and let me know what you want to hear more about. If it's diet, fitness, wellness, mindfulness, I'm here for you. So give me your feedback.